Hello everyone and welcome back to a, another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, today we're building a rocket ship to go save Jebediah. Uh, I had a video uh, where we brought everybody back from Operation Party Rock. Unfortunately, Fraps messed up and the video was lost. Basically, I'll just tell you what happened. Basically, we uh, took the 19 people up to the moon. We didn't have enough gas to get them home, so we built another ship in the vehicle assembly building. We flew it to the moon, but as I came to find out through, well, actually doing it, that ship did not have enough gas to get them home. It only had enough to get them orbiting the moon, so we sent up another of the same ship. We transferred the 19 people throughout space, and I'm really mad that that video didn't last. So, we're going to send Bob up to go save Jebediah, and Jebediah is just kind of floating around the moon in space. Uh, all by himself in a ship without any fuel, without any power, so uh, not really to worry though, he's happy as can be, as we check in on Jebediah, yeah there you go, there he is, happy as a clam, sitting up there, floating around. Um, so here we go, we're about to launch this. Waiting for the uh, game to load it up. We use a number of mods in this, too many to really name, but thanks to all the creators for creating these mods, I wouldn't be able to do it without them. Uh, right now, I am taking out everyone except for Bob uh, to go save Jebediah, because this is a three-person capsule, and we only need one person to operate it, and we need to put somebody in it, so might as well kick the other two people out. Bob can do this by himself, he's got the competence. Alright, just checking the first Hopefully we'll have enough gas to get up into orbit. Uh, it's definitely going to be a turbulent flight. This spaceship did not handle very well. I don't really, I don't really know why. But apparently, the update 19.1 came out. I'm excited to go download that. But I was going to update the game once I got everybody from Operation Party Rock onto the moon. I didn't or back home from the moon. I didn't want something to happen to my save file and suddenly all 19 people are gone. You know, I need to make that a challenge. I got 19 people to the moon, I had to get them back home. So, I guess we're gonna go west. <laughs> I was trying to turn 90 degrees, but the thing was just rocking all over the place and it just shot at a 270 degree heading. Oh well, that's just 180 degrees different from 90 degrees, so that'll work. Let's hope these things don't hit each other. Mm, getting almost out of gas. I really hope those fuel tanks don't run into each other and explode. There they go, cut the throttle. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay. That was a little too close for comfort, but no damage done, so that's alright. And we'll just uh, warp ahead to see. I mean, I'm just getting the thing into orbit. That's not really that hard to do. We're just going to full throttle, get around the Earth, and uh, we'll warp ahead to when we are making our calculation for the moon. So here we are setting up our orbital path towards the moon using the maneuver nodes. Just extend that all the way out, and got a little bit of an encounter. Uh, I've got the vessel information up from MechJeb because it's a the vessel information tab is fantastic. It tells me exactly how much delta V I have in each stage. It really helps me calculate these maneuver nodes so I can try to be the most efficient with the fuel. Now, as you can see on the last little bit of that, we had a really wonky encounter with the moon, which is going to warp our orbit 90 degrees. Hopefully it won't take too much gas to fix it, but unfortunately that's the only angle I could really get with the trajectory I was taking. So here we are accelerating towards the moon, executing our node, and um, we'll go up there and meet Jebediah and get him home. Just checking to make sure that we are still going to be on the correct trajectory. Hopefully we'll 
conserve quite a bit of gas with this. Because I want as much gas as I can to get these guys back home, because I don't really want to trap two people out in space. It was difficult trying to ferry 19 people off of a stranded ship. I don't really want to do it again. So, uh, it's set up right. We're just going to warp ahead now to the actual encounter with the moon. Yeah, that's just one of the most bizarre orbital predictions I've seen in this game. Okay, we have been caught by the moon's orbit. We are now going to set up our maneuver node to retro burn into an orbit so that we can rendezvous with the Operation Party Rock return ship. So here we are about to approach the maneuver node. Here we go, we're going to execute our burn now. There we are, we're at a somewhat of a polar orbit. It's kind of unfortunate that we had to come in at this angle. We'd already uh, aligned the orbits using the MechJab uh, rendezvous module, and here we are setting up the encounter with the uh, Party Rock ship. There's the Party Rock ship right there. We're getting it set up so Jebediah can get out and start his long journey over. I thought about maneuvering the ships to be closer to each other, but I needed to make sure I had enough gas to get Jeb over to or Jeb and Bob both back home. So here's Jeb, he's gonna fly about six kilometers through interstellar space. I mean, this is one heck of a spacewalk as we lag ahead. Um, yeah, the video card isn't really liking me speeding up the video. Um, okay, well, no matter, you get the point. We just flew six kilometers through space and here we are. We have... Wow, this is really lagging badly. Um, Jeb needs to get in the ship now. Okay. Well. I will have to make a note not to do that in any of the rest of my videos. It's, it's just a laggy mess. And okay, looks like we stopped the lag, thankfully. Man, the video card did not like that. Um, so here we go. We are setting our trajectory to get ourselves out of the moon's orbit and head back to Kerbin. You can see the uh, original ship that we just docked with going by in the lower part of the screen. And. Uh, And here we go, we're going to begin our burn. We've ejected from the moon, and we've set up our little node to deorbit from, from our massive orbit around Kerbin. Here we are actually performing the deorbit operation. fine-tune adjusting to make sure that we actually uh, land on curb and don't skim the atmosphere and re-enter into space that would be that would be very bad because we're trying to get back to Kerbin we are not trying to maintain an orbit I mean if we ran out of gas and we're still orbiting Kerbin we wouldn't really have accomplished anything 
So, and there we go. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of an encounter with the moon as it goes by. Hopefully that won't throw off our orbit, but it looks like this maneuver does some encounters for that, and it does! We are currently on final approach to Kerbin. And I'm not I'm not aiming for a specific point on Kerbin. Some people try to return to the Kerbal Space Center. I'm not I'm not gonna try to do that just because look, if you've been trapped in orbit around the moon for a while, you don't really care where you land. You just want to make sure you're back on the planet. I mean, I could land them on the other side of Kerbin for all they care. Jebediah is like, I just want to be back on Kerbin. Of course, you don't really know. He's always smiling all the time. Look, he's happy. He's never upset. He's always content with wherever he is. So, we're gonna turn the ship retrograde so that we can enter the atmosphere correctly, even though it doesn't matter until um, either I download the Deadly Reentry mod or uh, they add those effects in the game. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. I uh, don't want physical time warp. <laughs> that, I guess, would act as reentry effects. You're going so fast, your ship gets ripped apart. Um, so here we are. We're about to get really affected by the atmosphere now. And... Let's decouple. Okay. I should have done that a lot earlier. That almost went very badly. Okay, we're heading really, really fast. Get that parachute out there. Slow this thing down. Slow it down. There goes our rocket hurtling into the Earth. Good thing the population density of Kerbin is really, really bad. As far as I know, there's only 20 people that live on the planet, and they're all astronauts. That's just some of the effects from the... Uh, FAR Aerospace mod. And... Slow down, slowly descending towards Kerbin. So, it, I hope the parachute opens. It would kind of stink to get all the way this far. The parachute doesn't open and you hurl into the planet. I mean, I'd like a 100% success ratio. Nobody died on the way back from the uh, Operation Vardy rocket. The rocket re-entered the atmosphere perfectly, and uh, parachutes deployed, and everyone survived. It was fantastic. And I really wish that video didn't get corrupted. Um, okay, it should open anytime. There we go. And I'm just going to speed up this little part of the descent. We, It's a parachute. We know what happens. La -dee -da, -dee da Video card seems to be liking this. Not as bad as it was when Jebediah was floating around in space. And we are on the ground. And on the ground everything looks fine. Jebediah is gonna climb out and he's gonna go kiss the ground after being trapped in space for quite a while on a stranded ship without any power, no food, uh, probably bored out of his mind, but it is until I send you into space next time, Jeb. Till next time.